Hey, it's Monday. You're live. Welcome, everyone. It's another Monday. Another idea that's up here that I'm thinking about. It's something that it's really weird I've never done before. And I thought of this and like, wow, why didn't I ever do this before? I'll wait till more people come in before I tell you what's in my head today. <laughs> what's in your head today? Yep, what's in my head today. That's for a scary place. Nah. It's not that scary. Alrighty. All righty. Did you get a, a notice that it popped up? I just did. All right. So we could get more people soon. Hey, it's one oh, there we go. All right. There we go. I hear there myself in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So hopefully everybody's having a good Hi, Valera. week. Hi, Valera. Hi, Peggy. Now nah, they're starting to come in. Hi, Renee. Hi, Irene. Mona, uh, whatever we want to call her. Sidra. Hi, Sidra. Oh, it's still morning there. Oh, yeah. Um, it's noon there, right? It's noon there now. It's 12.02 there now. It's a Monday. But you could have brunch now, so. I think brunch works every day, though. Or any time of day. Ooh. Brunch sounds good. I haven't had brunch in forever. I know. <laughs> yep. So not any longer. So you're doing something unique today. Yeah, I am. Something a little different. So, I'm like, why have I never done any yarn color Ode to Cindy's patterns? And I looked at this one and thought, wow, why can't I make a yarn out of this? Well, it's the back side. This is color cool. dispersion. <laughs> See, I always have to do the backside because that's just what I do. <laughs> and it's like, why not make a colorway out of this? Because that was actually three colors. Yeah, but why not make one color skein? Huh. Yeah. Interesting. It is an interesting idea. Let's see what we can do. And I'll tell the folks what I have here. Okay, so I have Stunning Superwash, Fingering Weight. I have Lavish Lace, Lace Weight. I have Legacy Worsted, Worsted Weight. I have Smashing Sock, Sock. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Okay, so let's see what we can come up with. Are you guys ready? So that's made of funky fuchsia, wild berries, and little black dross. No, pink peony. Pink peony. Wild berries and little black dross. So Get with the program. I was so close. So there's the center. The pig piety. For all my pink people. those things are grabby. Yeah. And so I want to overlap because when you do her pattern, you have to uh, hold the yarn together and then it overlaps. So we do a little overlap, but then the center is still... That will let out very interestingly. It's going to have a lot of black though. Oh, 
would be cool. Explain not S S K. It should be explained in the pattern. But I'll log on to the to Ravelry when we're done here and and uh, see. I know the testers Lee had a issue early on, but that was uh, the way it was written and after I rewrote it it was fine. Hi, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. Carolyn, I got another Facebook friend recommendation today <laughs> for Nicole. <laughs> Go figure. Talk about six degrees of separation. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, now I really like it. So everybody is just joining. This is based on Cindy's pattern, color dispersion. I inspired you? Can you believe that? Well, I inspired you with your own yarn colors, so... We're kind of codependent. You make pretty yarn, I make an interesting design that inspires you to make more pretty yarn. Oh my which God. will inspire me to make another design. Look, this guys. This is looking pretty, isn't it? Okay, I want to do this so I don't drop it on it, but look. So there's his Oh my God! That's very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I made color dispersion. Well, you made... Yeah, but it's going to knit up so totally different than color dispersion. We might make a color dispersion with this for Friday with two other colors. I did oh, lavish kit? lace, yeah. Well, we won't have one knit up. No. <laughs> yes, we're a team. It's a good thing because some days we share a brain. Okay, take picture. This end needs more black, or oh. you're going to have a lot of natural in it. I don't think you can see it from where you're at. Yeah, it really popped after the black went in. I, I think that is so awesome. I don't even think you need to have the inspiration photo to know it's cool. Sometimes we can do internal inspiration. You could put a big black stripe down Lulu since she's just laying here on the floor like a slug. Okay, let's flip this. I think I like this. I do too. I am excited to knit this one up. Maybe, There's a lot of things I can think maybe of. Maybe people do with will this. like it on the reels this week. They usually do. How did I get your ringing picture? That's really cool because you could do that with Just a lot of color combinations because yeah. we've done so many color combinations for color dispersion because with mixing the colors anything will go I'm saying the same thing Valera there needs to be a whole series of these I 
and the options are endless. Yeah. You could even leave the center natural and speckle it just a little. It'd be cool to use colors too that when overlapped created a third color. Yeah. Red and purple, Valera says. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking if you started with a yellow and then did a blue where it would overlap and make a green and then you could do a red and they'd overlap and make a purple. That might be kind of cool. Even like a, a cream and a dusty blue and a tan, like those beach colors. Fun, fun, fun. There's a design I want you to do one of these days. Somebody came through Maryland and had on a hat, and I loved it. And I had seen something like it before. And it's a lot of uh, one color. And then there's just a little spot. It's almost like our double rainbow was, but smaller, I think, for the color. And every time you get to the color, you knit it as a... Some kind of a cluster stitch, whichever kind you want oh. to do. A noop or a bobble or whatever. And she had done a really interesting one that layered them internally in like three stitches in one. It was really cool looking on this hat. And it was it was just like fun. Fall colors would be pretty in this. Yeah. Well, those, probably any. Oh, those purples, the cream, the creamy purples, like you did the mini set out of this. We'll year. just have to see how it knits up before we do a whole series. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This would be a really good color length for rippling. Oh, yeah. And then that new one we just put out, um, One Skein, One Love, is just one skein, and it's made for any of the variegated colors. And that would be very cool, too. I like it. Yeah, I do, too. Assigned pooling. I'm not sure if there's enough. It might work, especially with those blended edges. I did some assigned pooling with um, double rainbow in the beachy one. And it was a little tricky, but I haven't done a lot of that, so. I know Stitches has some classes on it at their Stitches at Home thing, and I should have taken one of them. I just never did have the wherewithal to sign up before they're full. But I know there's a lot of ways to do that. Mm -hmm. 
So next week, we will be with you on Tuesday, because Monday is Memorial Day here in the States. So um, we'll be here on Tuesday. But we'll be back regular Friday this week. And then um, next week we'll do the show on Tuesday. And then we'll be back on regular schedule for Friday next week. I'm probably going to have to mix more dye up, so we'll probably call it a day in a little few minutes. Yeah, it's taken a lot of dye, isn't it? Well, because you're not leaving any white space. Oh, are we disturbing a little bit? Just readjust it inside, like the people when you're talking. Lulu's hair is finally starting to grow back. I don't get any sleep around here. You're not going to get your 20 hours today. Uh oh, it's starting to run out. Okay, I think I'm going to leave you folks. Did you ready to put you back on? Yeah. Big face? Yeah, I have to make some more dye. Okay, guys, this is going to look pretty cool. We'll review this on, re, reveal it on Friday. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for Friday. We'll see what it looks like. Unless it up. anybody wants to sneak in here on Thursday night for knit night and see it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Yes. If they leave any behind, we'll have it for sale on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Have a great week, guys. Oops. Say goodbye again because I'm. Bye. <laughs> I've lost my button to shut it off. <laughs>